My nose always starts running when I'm doing my makeup. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a full face first impressions on the brand Lottie London. All of the products that I purchased I got off of the Ulta website. If you live in the UK, then you can get them off of the Lottie London website as well. But they just recently became available in the States, so I bought basically everything in the collection to try out for you guys. Also, I know that I didn't post a video on Tuesday and although I haven't really said it, I've been trying to post videos every Tuesday and Thursday, uh, but I recently got back from um, a trip with some friends to Canada and I just wasn't really ready to make a video just yet, but I am going to try to have another one up this week. I'm really sorry if this video is long. I'm trying to make them shorter. If you want to see what I think about each of the Lottie London products, just keep on watching. The first thing I'm going to be using is the Bay Before Anything Else Illuminating Primer looks like this. So far that feels pretty good. It doesn't feel too silicone-y. It's definitely pretty tacky, so that's good. I think it'll help the foundation stay on. The next thing that I got was the Insta Filter Pore Eraser Stick. I'm a little nervous to try this out, but also excited because I have very visible pores. I guess I'll just kind of use it as a stick. I'm just going to put this where my pores tend to show the most. So I'm not sure if you can tell, but on the side of my face, it kind of left like a bit of a residue. My pores are still pretty visible. So far, I'm not entirely impressed with this uh, pore eraser stick. I'm not really a huge fan of any kind of like stick things. It feels nice on the face. It doesn't feel sticky um, which I don't know if maybe I should have put this on before the primer but I don't know that's a before anything else so I don't know if that's gonna change how the foundation wears so the next thing is the selfie ready medium coverage matte foundation I got the shade toasted almond it looks like this I also purchased the best of the brushes collection. These are what they look like. Um, they're very colorful and I thought that was cute. It comes with five brushes uh, that I keep dropping. And this one is like a fluffy face brush for um, like loose powders and that kind of thing. Then this one looks like a foundation brush. It's much more dense. And this one I believe is like a concealer brush, a crease eye brush it's long and dense as well I guess this is an eyeliner brush but it's super thick I don't know if I could really use this to put on eyeliner maybe just to um, do some more detailing in the outer corner so I'm gonna be trying these brushes out for the foundation I'm going to use this brush on this half of my face and then my echo tools beauty sponge on this side since this is normally what I use just to kind of compare how the foundation wears. Like I mentioned these I all purchased online so I really hope that this is my shade. I don't normally use these kind of flat brushes for foundation. If I don't use a beauty blender I like to go more for like a stippling brush kind of like this one but we'll try it out. I put the foundation on with the um, Lottie London brush on this side of my face. I think the color is good. It, it feels nice. The finish is, is super nice. It's also not too, too matte. I know it's advertised as a matte foundation and I do tend to have pretty dry skin. It is... Uh, emphasizing my pores a little bit despite using that pore filler. I would say it's more of a light to medium coverage rather than medium. Like you can definitely see all my freckles and you know some of my red spots. I'm gonna try using um, the beauty sp sponge, the beauty sponge on this side. 
this is the side that I used with the beauty sponge. I definitely think that I prefer the side with the beauty sponge. This side looks a little bit drier and I just feel like the beauty blender or beauty sponge helped to blend it out a little bit more evenly. I think it might be oxidizing just a little bit because it is a little bit darker than my neck. Nothing too horrible. The next product I have is concealer. This is called the Got It Covered Sponge Applicator Concealer. Uh, the sponge applicator scares me a little bit. I have this in the shade Fawn. Hopefully this is, oh, also my color. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna use, try this concealer brush, which again, don't tend to use these kinds, and I'm just gonna do this fat side with this brush. Yeah, I don't like the way this is blending it out at all. I'm gonna go back to my beauty blender. Wow, I actually, I do like that concealer. I feel like it brightened up underneath my eye a little bit, or at least attempted to get rid of my dark circles just a little. It is a little bit tacky. Overall, I think it's pretty good. I'm going to use the Ready, Set, Go Matte Translucent Finishing Powder to uh, set down underneath my eyes. Like my face is pretty matte already, so I'm not really gonna do it too much. What's happening over here? I can't tell if that's making me like look super dry underneath the eyes. I have the Tan Time Powder Bronzer. <laughs> there weren't too many shades of this. I think it was just light, medium, and medium dark. So that's one downside, especially because this look a little too dark for me. I do love all the little stars. I think that's super cute. I think once I blend it out, it won't be too bad because I put a little bit on my hand and once I blend it out, it should be okay, I hope. <laughs> Ooh, there's quite a bit of kick up once you put your brush in. See, hopefully that means it blends nicely. And I'm just gonna use that fluffy brush again to blend it out a little more. I think I like that. I do think that it blended nicely while on my cheeks. It's hard to tell because I feel like my skin is looking pretty dry right now, so I feel like everything's kind of being a little enhanced, but I think that I like the bronzer. Next up is a blush. This is the Blush Crush Powder Blusher. It looks like this. It's got little hearts on it. These I thought were so cute. I believe there are six different shades. Each of them are named after a male celebrity. I think there was like Nick, Harry, Zayn, Drake, Justin, yeah, and, and one more that I can't remember the name of. I ended up getting the shade Drake, and trust me, I was very tempted to get Harry or Nick, but those, I don't know, just, I don't think those matched my skin tone as well, so I got this one. So this is a, a bit darker. Um, I don't really love super bright brushes, brushes, blushes, so I think that this will be good with a light, a light hand. Again, the whole, everything's kind of sitting on my face because it's I don't know what it is. I don't know if that was from the foundation, um, but I do like the color. It is easy to blend. It does feel nice and soft on the skin. Overall, I, I think I like this. Next is highlighter, which is probably the item that I'm most excited to try out of these. And there are two different kinds of highlighters that I purchased. First, this is the strobe stick in the shade Spotlight. So this is a highlighter stick. I'll do a little swatch on my hand. Ooh. 
That looks really pretty. That's it there on the bottom. So there's that. And then the other highlighting product is this Shimmer Squad. Um, it is a quad of four different highlighters. It kind of reminds me of one of the Anastasia palettes. There's a nice dark, uh, dark one for deeper skin tones. And then this one is a really pretty champagne-y color. This one here is a bit more gold. And then this one that's super platinum white. So let's do some swatches here. These are the highlighters from the palette. Um, first of all, look at how beautiful that color is. I kind of want to use it as an eyeshadow. Um, but then this is the goldy one, the champagne -y pink one, and then the silvery white one. I don't know if it's because it's on this side of my arm, but they do seem like just a little bit chalky, but I'm hoping that on my face they'll come out nice because I have heard so many good things about this highlighting palette. I think I'm going to mix these two uh, a little bit. This top one is called The Good Girl and the bottom is The Troublemaker, which is kind of funny. Whoa. Whoa. Bam, look how, oh my God, whoa. I only did, I only put a little bit on my brush too. Dang, that's some bright highlight. That's, that's some bright highlight. I think I put a little too much on this side. But if you look on this side, I think that it blends out nicely, you know, once you put on a normal amount. Um, I don't think that it looks like there's like a stripe on my face, like at least on this side. Um, so I like that a lot. I'm gonna use some of the goldy shade, the Queen, it's called the Queen Beat, down my nose and on my cupid's bow yeah i don't think that this is for the faint of heart um i mean you probably could use like a tiny tiny bit if you want more of like a natural glow i would say this is more when you're going out at night and you really want that bang i only purchased one of the eyeshadow palettes they're called the shadow swatch palettes and they have 12 eyeshadows i think they're about maybe four different variations, um, but the one that I purchased is the Rust. I recently purchased the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette, so I thought that this would kind of be a cool uh, comparison to see what shades are similar. These are what the shades look like. There goes the brush. <laughs> I'm really impressed. I swatched four of the colors I did two shimmers and two matte shades. They swatched so beautifully, so I'm so excited to try these on my eyes. First, I'm gonna use the second to lightest shade in the palette. This is called Tilly. I'm gonna use this as the all over the lid shade. I'm going to go in with the fifth color in. This is kind of like an orangey, browny color right here, and this is called Nicole. It's my middle name. Wow, so super pigmented on the brush, like, look at that. I tried using this crease brush from the Lottie brushes. I don't know if it's just that it's kind of too dense, like maybe I'll, I'll try to use it on the corner again, but I didn't think that it did a very good job of blending out the color uh, very nicely, like it was just kind of hard to work with and wasn't really picking up any pigment. So I went in with a different brush and it worked much better. I was able to see the color. And I'm just gonna use the color right underneath it. This is the shimmery shade called Lauren. And I'm gonna put that into the crease as well. For all over the lid, I'm going to use this third shade from the bottom. It's like a brownie metallic shimmer shade and this is called Ashley. I'm actually like really impressed with this eyeshadow like there's a lot of pigment and really not too much fallout look like, and I'm gonna take the darkest shade in the palette it's kind of like a grayish greeny color I, I kind of almost feel like it doesn't match 
the rest of the palette too much but I do think that a dark color is needed so um, that's good this one is called Erin and I'm outer corners and I'm gonna go back into Nicole just put that in the crease again to blend everything out I'm also going to take a little bit of that shade and just put it on my lower lash line. Again, on my lower lash line with the next shade, Lauren, but more towards the outer corner. And then just a little bit of Erin at the very corner. I'm going to use the lightest shimmer shade in the palette called Danielle under my eyebrow and in my inner corner just to highlight and brighten those areas up a bit. I am actually super impressed with this eyeshadow palette. I really love the way all of the colors that I used came out on my eyes. They were super pigmented, super easy to blend. I really love the packaging. I love that it's clear and that you can see all of the shades inside. I love that it's like a sturdy plastic. It snaps shut. I think this is great for traveling. A plus for this eyeshadow palette. To finish up the eyes, I'm going to use the Lottie eyeliner. This is the AM 2 PM Coal Eyeliner Pencil. This is the shade black and I also purchased the uh, purple one called Velvet. They're super curvy because I'm a mess, but those just glided on. Do you see this? What's wrong with me? This eyeliner glides on like a dream which is beautiful but also horrible because it's very easy to kind of just have it glide off all across your eye so that's kind of why things get kind of dark pretty quickly the good thing is that it's super easy to blend to kind of just like smoke out the look uh, which is what i did then i went over the eyes with the lid color just to kind of clean it up a little bit somehow it turned into this really cool smoky look and i'm i'm digging it this part's a little meh i also got the wing woman felt tip eyeliner why not just try and make this even more wild than it already is Guess whose wings are not even at all. So this is the liquid liner. I really like this actually. I did find it easy to use. It does dry down all the way matte. So that's super nice. It doesn't look glossy or anything. Time for mascara. First of all, this is so pretty. This is the hashtag Lash Goals Ultra Volumizing Mascara. And I believe they only come in black. Um, at least that's the shade I have. Let's see if this makes my lashes look voluminous. Whoa. Look at that wand. That is the strangest mascara wand I have ever seen. I'm also like super intrigued. Is it supposed to bend like that? Like, is it just mine? I don't know, but I'm excited. Let me get a little closer. I don't know which angle to go at it. Okay, those are the lashes. What do we think? Okay, from the side, like, they look pretty long to me. I just think that the fibers are kind of far apart. Like, they're not close enough for them to like grip your lashes and I think that is really necessary for them to be vol like voluminous but I also don't hate the way they look even though I don't really do my brows all that often I decided I would try it out this is the arch rival brow artist retractable eyebrow pencil and I got the shade medium I think they have three different shades the one side has a little spoolie 
and then the other side is the pencil it's super thin and precise i really don't do my brows too often so i don't know if i'm really going to be doing this um properly These are my brows compared, so this one doesn't have any product in it, and this one I just used uh, this brow pencil. It definitely added some color. It filled in some of the lighter spots where I don't have as many hairs. I do think that this keeps them natural looking uh, while just kind of you know, make th making them a bit fuller. Maybe use it in the future for any days where I feel like the, my brows need a bit more of a like oomph to <laughs> match the rest of my face. With this dark kind of eyeliner look, um, it does work well. So let me just do this other eye. Finally, lip. So I purchased two of the Lottie London little lip kits, I guess. Each of the lip kits comes with a lip liner and a liquid lipstick. It's the Slay All Day Longwear Lip liner pencil and the slay all day longwear matte liquid lipstick and so like i said i got two shades first is work it which is a bit more of like a dark nude color and then is hey bay which is more of like a brownie shade this is them side by side over here is Work It, and this one is Hey Bay. So you can see that this one is definitely a bit darker and more browny, and the liner to that is matches a little bit more, whereas this one, the liner is a bit more pinky, and this has a more of a cooler tone. I think for today, I'm gonna go for the more natural look and use the shades Work It. Okay, so this is the liquid lip with the liner underneath. Um, I think I really like it. I love the color. This is definitely my color that I would reach for for an everyday look. It definitely dries down matte, uh, so my lips are super dry naturally. You can kind of see the dry spots, but I don't really think that's from the lipstick itself. It doesn't really transfer as you can see so that's always good for the most part I do like this I don't know if it's my favorite formula I would probably reach for other liquid lipsticks first the only thing that I did notice is for some reason it didn't really want to stay or even just apply initially on like the inner part of my lips like you can kind of see it's like still super pink there and I don't know for some reason it just wouldn't stay but other than that, I think I like it. Okay, so this is the finished look using all of the Lottie London products. Overall, really like the way everything looks. I would say that the brand as a whole is pretty good. You know, I don't have anything terrible to say about it. Let me know if you purchased any of these items and what your th thoughts on them are. Do you love any of these products? Do you hate them? Do you like the brand? If you have any other suggestions of videos that you'd like me to do in the future, let me know down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. It would make me so happy if you liked and subscribed to my channel below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!